Welcome to the great outdoors. Shoot! Today's meme calls for a heavy duty mic stand. Enough flipping around. Here's Gus Johnnyson. Ah! Cut myself, for real. I swear if this thing focuses on the stupid trees the whole time. I can't imagine. Today, back and this is gonna be difficult. Do you know what it means to be called a hero? Do you even understand what it means to be a bad ass? To be, to have a really bad ass? Well, let me tell you folks, you haven't seen a goddamn thing when it comes to heroes because today we have found the most heroic, bad ass, cool, neat, dank, trill, radical man who ever walked the face of this earth. And that man's name is Troy Herchubees. Troy is a Canadian inventor with such hella bad ass inventions under his belt, such as the fire paste, Trojan armor, and the angel light, which he claims to have been able to see through his garage door and read his license plate with. Now, of all of Troy's many inventions, none is more badass, none is more danger imposing than his grizzly bear suit. Now, I found an interview that Extra did with Troy back in the 80s or 90s. I don't know. I don't research. In this interview, Troy displays some of the badassery and toughness that the bear suit that he made can can withstand. So let's give this interview a little, pe a little pump. I didn't want to say little peep. I actually really like his music a lot, and he's a good dude. I didn't know him personally. Rip little peep. Hurt you bees must study and learn more about them. An almost deadly experience he encountered once before. He smashes me to the chest. With such force, I fly back. Okay, right off the bat here. Have you ever committed to a full-on feet up in the air, flat on your back, chest fall like that? I dare you. I double dog dare you right now. Pause the video, go outside, find a little pile of leaves or make a little pile of, of cat litter or, or small bones. Go ahead and launch yourself off your feet, land flat on your back. I guarantee you're going to knock the wind out of you. I picture Troy like on the set of the interview, just like going take after take. And the guy's like, dude, we got it, Troy. You don't have to keep doing that. You're going to kill yourself, buddy. No, 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 no. I'll just do one more. But coming face to face again with a grizzly doesn't seem to phase hurt you bees one bit. He looks like if a gymnast from the 1930s had like the haircut of a 70s cop. I love the crew that he brought with him too. Look, you can tell it's just like his buddy Jeff from down the road and like his high school math teacher from like a town of 20 people. <laughs> this suit will withstand an attack of a grizzly bear. <laughs> Dude, look at the suit. I'm pretty sure I had the same metallic vegetable strainer when I was a kid. What is that, like a hockey mask that he glued to like an Everlast belt or something? I used to be an art student and I took a sculpture class and this looks a lot like half of the sculptures that I had to grade during the class. Hurt you bees invented this Mark VI, the world's first bear-proof okay, suit made from titanium, plastic, rubber, and chain mail. Wait a second, Mark Six. So this means that this dude had to make at least five other prototypes. And this is the sixth model. This is the sixth version of what he created. Bites into the bite bar and we'll be able to record for a first time the pounds per square inch biting power of a grizzly bear. And Hurt You Bees is convinced this 150 pound suit will protect anyone from a grizzly's deadly assault. <laughs> You guys ever watch the old Twilight Zone TV show? He looks like a 50s sci-fi robot. <laughs> Here's what I don't get. Even if the suit could withstand, like, maybe the bite strength of a grizzly bear, how the hell are you supposed to comfortably walk in this thing? It's not practical. You're not gonna just say, oh, I'm going out to take a little camping trip. If the bear attacks, you're going to be okay. To prove his theory that the suit does in fact work, Hurt You Bees risked his life and put it through test after test. All right, this is a lot to unpack. How does the conversation start here? Hey, uh, Jeff, I'm gonna be on the news. Oh, Troy, that's great. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to come over and wail on my face with a big piece of lumber. Haha, <laughs> well, that's Troy. I can't imagine. I love that the newswoman calls them test after test as if there's any scientific legitimacy to what they're doing. He's just getting whacked in the face with a stick that his buddy's holding. First, he shot the suit with a 12 gauge shotgun. All right, that was a little impressive, actually. He didn't even flinch with that. Then he launched a 300-pound log dead center towards his chest. Is that dedication, or is he simply nuts? 
<laughs> okay, again, so you get whacked by a bear and you get tipped over, and the bear can't bite you. Clearly, you're safe there, but what do you do? Are you gonna tell me that you can stand up in that suit? Are you gonna tell me that Troy gets knocked over and he can get back, even on his knees, to crawl away? You're like a sci-fi robot that gets stuck and tipped over, and you just gotta roll yourself out of the frame. And if that's not crazy enough, he had a three-ton truck ram right into him at a speed of 30 miles per hour. Okay. Why did you have to do that, Troy? Please tell me. What is that going to prove? It's really comforting to know that if you were struck by a bear that was going 30 miles an hour or under in an old F-150 pickup truck with a mattress duct taped to the front, that if you had this suit on, you'd probably be fine. Well, he was having so much fun, he decided to toss himself down a ravine. All this without a scratch. Boy, if I haven't heard that phrase a thousand times. Well, he was having so much fun, he decided to toss himself down a ravine. That's the type of line that the news lady reads, and it gives her a little reality check, and she goes, Hmm, is this journalism? In the end, because of Hurt Ubiza's passion and hard efforts, the North American grizzly will live. The question is, will he? Probably not. Troy still has to put the suit up against a live bear, but those test runs seem pretty conclusive. So he hasn't even tested it on a bear yet. How are you, how do you know? How are you supposed to know? You can't just get hit by a truck and then go, yeah, I'll probably survive a bear attack. Sadly, I looked up Troy because I was so damn curious about this man, and I found out that he actually died this year. Now, jokes and memes are hopes and dreams and everything is fun day, but this is a man at the end of the day who lost his life, and that is sad. God, this guy's cool as hell. Damn it, it sucks that he died. So you know what we're gonna do today? We're getting out of the desk, okay? We're gonna do something. A little less conversation, a little more action, baby. I don't know how many versions of the Ursus Mark whatever the hell Troy made, but you know what? Today I'm making the do-all end-all one. I'm gonna finish your life's work, Troy. We're gonna go out and, and God damn it, I'm making the Ursus Mark 10,000. Let's go, boys. All right, so we're out here. I came back home to Wisconsin, the bear capital of the United States of America. And we're gonna set up our own bless up Troy Hurtubee's bear suit. So let's go ahead and raid my parents' uh, garage and shed to see what kind of military grade protection gear we can find. <laughs> Come on. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for some extra protection on the chest plate. I got this duck hunting canoe seat that we're gonna strap around myself. I'm gonna put this underneath my clothing. Ow! All right, here we go, locked and loaded. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to scrap the fife, he doesn't fit. Now let's move on to one of the most important parts, the helmet. I'm noticing right here we have our choice between this old motorcycle helmet or this construction worker's helmet. But I think I'm gonna go twofold. Put on the construction worker helmet and cap it off with this durable military grade two gallon bucket. Oh, that's the worst sound I ever heard. All right, so we'll pop that on last. We'll come back to it. Next, we gotta protect the legs. I don't think my leg could fit through that. Oh, we got these uh, old life raft things. I could just kind of tie them around here like that. They'll work out. So this is what it's like to get in the mind of a genius in his workshop. Truly really inspiring stuff. Today we're working with the strongest tape known to man, three quarter inch masking tape. I'm gonna further secure this by looping this through my belt buckle. Okay, well my arms are looking a little bare so I need some coverage on the sides, fellas, on the sides. Go scope it out. Oh, right here, boom. Nice, comfy rugs. Think that'll hold up? Mmm, that'll be nice. Not getting through that. <laughs> Not getting through that. It's like, you know those attack dogs that like they train them to bite the arm? <laughs> Pretty sure it's the same material they use. I probably should have done the legs last. I feel like I need something more on my chest though, is the thing. Got some strong chest plates here. This will help uh, protect against some of the claw marks and uh, I'll ease down on the impact. All right, I'll hold this. You go around me, okay? I got her. Oh, I got her. That feels pretty secure. Let's do the arms. Do you need, no, I'll get you need some help again? You can never get too much protection. So even though we have the head here, we're gonna not we're gonna wanna make sure that we got our eyes safe. 
as well. You don't want to lose your gear in the heat of battle, so make sure that your headpiece includes a sort of chin strap, okay? That's the Hurt You Bees guarantee. God, that's deafening. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that bad boy's not going anywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. shit. How did Troy do all this himself? <laughs> I got it from here. I can't bite it off. Ah! All right, warriors, our suit is complete. Now let's kick some ass. The bat to the face test. Come on, you little bear bitch! No! 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 Okay, okay, okay! Oh, it works! Second test. High-powered gun to the chest test. Now we will demonstrate the right to bear arms. Shoot me! Go! Hit me again! Fuck! Oh, there's more holes in the armor. <laughs> Shoot me again! Okay, okay, it's conclusive, it works. Third test, log to the chest test. All right, log on and hit me. <laughs> oh, fuck. You wanna come out and get this log off me? I need you to help me get up, too. <laughs> Shit. Plenty of protection here, fellas. Fourth test, car to the face test. Are you serious? What? Is this the best we got? You mean is that it's a pillow? You asked for a pillow. No, I want a mattress. We don't have a mattress. Well, I mean, don't want to wreck any of our good mattresses. All right, hook it up. You ready to roll? Let's go. Okay. Okay, come on, me. Kid tested, mother approved. Well, we proved one thing today. Troy's memory will live on forever in the Ursus Mark 10,000. Bless you, Troy. You're a goddamn man. I gotta go pan up. Pan up? Why? Yeah, pan up. It's what you do. Rest in peace. You don't. Shut up. Rest in peace, Troy. Seems